Welcome to Papa's Farm. We're going to do a quick and dirty video today because my wife said you can't take a video when things are unorganized and dirty, but we're real human beings, so I'm going to show you what it looks like in a real operation. So this is our processing room. In here, we're going to have a big table set up, cleaning equipment, baggage, tagage, Cookies. pricing, all that stuff. This is the place. Cookies. <laughs> this will be the processing room. Out here, we have our NFT grow system, right? nutrient film technique where we grow our romaine. This big guy is in the way. It's one of the things she didn't want to get a video of, but we will because the germination station is behind it. So all the plants start here before they make it into the NFT system. If you come down here, this is another room. This is the office and administra administrative room. Our kids' room. This is kids' room for now. It's a bit of a boat. We've got the TV and the couch so while we're working, the kids can tag along with us. Straight coffee. A bit of coffee everywhere. <laughs> we continue. Here we have the kitchen, right? Beautiful little staff kitchen. Cupboards, stuff like that. Sink going in, plumbing to be done yet, but we're getting there. Clutter everywhere. Exactly, because we're real people. Where we go? And we have the pump house. Look at that. All dug, by, dug with a wheelbarrow and a shovel. Eight foot wide, three foot deep. What is it, 12 foot long? Down here we do the mixing, the stirring, the fertilizing, the tank. The pump house. And it's that deep because it holds the temperature better than being up at the same level as the greenhouse. And down here we have another huge mess. Not a huge mess. <laughs> this is where the vertical grow system is going to go. So we've got about 40 feet here. We're going to go 40 by 8 feet by 3 or 4 feet deep. And we can build the, we can build the system up with 14 foot power. So no reason we won't be able to... Uh, produce the same amount, if not more than before, because we're also going to put vertical wall of plants the whole way down here. And this will be a wall here. This will all be vertical growing plants. So, so now that we, you've seen the inside, I'll take it outside real quick and show you what's going on on the inside. Since we did the update and we cut half the greenhouse in half and made it insulated and uh, a metal roof, significant increase in the ability to control the weather the climate inside the greenhouse so heat and cooling condensation and moisture way easier to control and as you look around you can see another big mess kids mess on this side <coughs> it's all plastic double layer sealed at the top with, with pool noodles and so during the winter the sun is only going to come up on that side and set on that side. It never goes fully over the greenhouse. So we're not losing any sunlight on the other side during the winter. But during the summer, when the sun does go all the way over the greenhouse, south to north, we get too much heat. So we've mitigated the amount of sun by 50%. Excellent. I can't complain. It's the best investment we've ever made. So the other side looks a bit like this. She didn't want to be on camera. Nah, nobody wants to be on camera. <laughs> As you can see, we started putting the tie back up before we go to put the siding on. But this has made the this has made the biggest difference in being able to control the heat and the temperature in the greenhouse way easier. The roof. Yeah, the roof and the insulated wall on the north side. I would never uh, I would never build out build a fully plastic greenhouse again after knowing the ability of this greenhouse. And now we'd like to get solar. Solar and a little bit of hydro energy as well. I mean, we'll, we'll kill it. So that's yep. the quick and dirty. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and any to, I don't care. <laughs> I, I know, really I was just. To get more updates, stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, smash it and knock it out of the park.